Z-Pipe Maker. How's it going, everybody? I have Z-Pipe Maker Simple version 2.0 today. What this script is, is a simpler way to make pipes in Maya. Instead of jumping through all the hoops that Maya makes you jump through, you can just use this script. So here we go. Here are the main buttons that you're going to be focusing on the most. We have Add Pipe, Connect Controls, and all of these different sliders and settings. So let's go ahead and hit Add Pipe. Let's just hit it a bunch of times, and you can see I added a bunch of pipes to my pipe chain. And for each one, I have settings to manipulate. And here we go, we have sub axis, sub height, width, curve amount, length, scale, and rotation. And as you can see, when you rotate, the edge flow does not get interrupted and split. And everything is updating all real time and smooth as you do all of these changes. And the really cool thing is, say you want to edit this pipe now, just go ahead and click on it and you hit connect controls. And what this does is connects the controls to that pipe so you can go in and edit it to your liking and all in real time, all updating and giving you really nice synchronous pipes. Oh yeah. On top of that, we have all of these other fancy doodads and buttons. First, I'll start with quick settings. Under quick settings, we have a bunch of different things to help make your life a little faster with the script. And these are all editable in the settings I'll talk about later. So I have bend 90 and rotate. So I'm bending it at 90, 90, and then when you have it already at 90, you hit it again, it will make a new pipe. So as you can see, I'm hitting 90 just a bunch of times. I'll hit 45 a bunch of times, 15. This is all 15 degrees, 90 degrees, etc. Just to really start hashing out some pipes, make some crazy pipe formations, wherever you want to do, really fast. On top of that, you can see now I have a lot of edges going on here, and I want to just destroy them. I want them all to go away because really if I were to show this to people they would kind of laugh at me and be like, dude, why you got so many segments? I'm sorry, I don't know. But here we go. So we got optimize all pipes and what this does is it goes based off of curve scale and curve amount to determine the amount of edges that you want based off of a threshold. So I'm going to change this to be lower and the higher the number the more segments you have and the lower less segments etc so I changed it to 0.25 instead of 3.5 and you can see it now has less edges in my pipe and I can still change the sub axis in order to get what kind of optimizations I want on top of this optimization control you can turn on this fancy button called use optimize pipes so if you have that on and you hit optimize all pipes it just set all of these pipes to auto optimization. So now when I connect controls and I edit this pipe, you can see that the pipe is actually changing the segments based off of whatever curve amount and curve scale you have inputted. So let me change this back to 0.35 and you can see on the fly, it has changed that pipe. Now say you don't want that to be on, you can go ahead and turn it off and it'll keep the amount of segments that were there before. You can just go from there and change whatever height segments you want. On top of this, we have a button called Remember Rotation. This is just a tiny button that could be handy in some scenarios to make spirals and stuff. So I'm going to change the rotation to negative 7.25. And now I want it to remember it every time I make a new pipe instead of just resetting to zero. So now when I hit Add Pipe, you can see it is making a nice spiral for me. The really interesting thing, too, is all of the pipes functions are multi controllable so you can go in and select multiple pipes and hit connect control so if I go ahead and select this spiral here and I hit connect control and just change the rotation you can see I can change all of these sliders in order to account for whatever type of spiral I want all on the fly as many pipes as I want and as many pipe changes as well on top of this say I'm done with this pipe and I want to add a new pipe I can go ahead and hit new pipe. And what this did is made new pipe. And I go from there, add things onto that. But you know what, that's not good enough. I want another new pipe. And I want to add things onto that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add another one onto this. I'll select these two top guys and I'll add more to those two top guys all at the same time. I want all these guys to rotate at the same time. I want to edit these pipes. I want it to remember rotation, you know, do all this crazy stuff. You can. 
with the script. Yay! So another cool thing you can do is say I want to just make a little edit to this pipe but I want to move it somewhere else. No problem. Just click on any segment or control any segment and you hit duplicate pipe. And now I have a duplicate version of the pipe. Once I've finished all of my pipes, and all of my multiple pipes, and all of my different pipe contraptions, my pipe-tastical pipe world of pipeness, I can click on any pipe in my pipe chain and hit finish pipe. Now by default, it'll make a duplicate of your pipe in a finished version. Now what the finished pipe does is it merges everything together, merges verts, deletes caps, and then lays out your UVs in a nice vertical laid out fashion nice and straight ready for you to do whatever type of texturing on the pipe and there you go now on top of all those things I just showed you there's one more part of the script under settings we have a bunch of things that you can change so for each of these sliders you can change the min and max amount the it'll specify if it's the max or the min max uh, if I went in here and I changed everything to uh, say I wanted this 30, this 45, etc. I can hit apply settings, go back, and now my sub axis over here is max 45 instead of 30 and my sub axis is max 30. So you can change all these sliders up to account for whatever scale you're working in. The script also works in all of the different scales and the up axes so you can have uh, up axes you can have it in Y up or Z up and it'll work and you can have it in millimeters, inches, etc. Under this settings as well you have your quick settings changes so you can change any of these to be whatever you want. I'm just going to change all these to 5 just to show you and hit apply settings, go over to main controls and you can see bend 5, all these are set to 5 and ready to roll. And lastly we have delete Z pipes on finish and unfold final pipe UVs as well as collapsible menus. So I'm going to turn off on full final pipe UVs, turn on delete Z pipes on finish, and use collapsible menus. So you can see I have collapsible menus now. Yay. Yay for collapsible menus. Woohoo! On top of that, for my finished pipe, instead of duplicating the pipe and keeping the old chain, my finished pipe now just deletes the old pipe and gets it out of your hair. You can go in at any time to one of your pipes that you're editing, of course, none of the ones I just selected. Hit the up arrow to select the group, and you'll see that it's grouped because it's underscore Z group. And then hit delete, control there, and go on. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is Z Pipe Maker version 2.0. If you take a look in the description below, there is a link to another video, and that one is the custom meshes. And that is under the, that is the Z Pipe Maker Advanced. I highly recommend you take a look at that one as that one goes over the advanced version of script which allows you to replace all of these pipe segments with your own custom meshes. So thanks for watching. This script is free and uh, have a good day.